Cleburne County has a population of just 25,000 people. Despite that, it has the second highest number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in the state. Our Claire Kreitz taking a closer look at how county officials are responding to the rapid influx of cases there. When you look at this map from the Arkansas Department of Health, you can see Cleburne County has 61 cases. That's the second highest amount of cases in the state of Arkansas, right behind Pulaski County. Now officials in the area are just trying to keep that number from rising. This is a fight that we don't need to win. This is a fight we've got to win. With only about 25,000 people, you wouldn't expect Cleburne County to be a hot spot for COVID-19. We have a total of 61 cases in the county as of this afternoon. But in the state of Arkansas, it ranks second. It is serious. The majority of cases started in Greer's Ferry. The church was uh, infected by the virus, and I think there were 30 cases that came out of that church. But now more and more cases are popping up in other towns across the county. We are going uh, as far as we can to try to keep people in their homes. Heber Springs Mayor Jimmy Clark says he's doing as much as he can to try and flatten that curve. We closed our community center. We closed the uh, city offices. Even going as far as to shut down parks and other outdoor areas. Our playgrounds, pavilions, parks, our Sandy Beach. Uh, we've we've shut all those uh, parks down and those uh, facilities down. But he says he still needs the community to do their part. You'll see the cars on the street. Because you never know who could be carrying the virus. This is something that we've got to, got to trust. Clark says it may be difficult, but staying inside and limiting contact is a small price to pay to keep the cases at a standstill. We can beat this and that we, uh, we will win this fight. Now, there's not currently a curfew for Heber Springs, but Clark says he is considering implementing one. For the time being, however, he says to continue following what the governor and the CDC is recommending. Guys, back to you.